The big game at the State Fair was called off this year, though. I'm talking about the State Fair Classic, and if you attended Prairie View or Grambling State University, you already know what I'm talking about. You want your football team to win, of course, but you hope the marching band comes home with their own winnings, too. We dive deeper into this State Fair tradition with our segment, Fair Enough. If you've never watched the halftime show at the State Fair Classic, buckle up because it is a scene like no other. To walk into the State Fair Classic, especially last year, um, leading the band in, coming through the tunnel, uh, it's a feeling like none other. A more than three decade old State Fair tradition interrupted this year like many things due to the ongoing pandemic. We spent a thousand hours doing what we do in marching training. <laughs> It's a lot of preparation that goes into the seven and a half, eight minute uh, halftime show. It's a performance that Prairie View A&M and Grambling State University bands look forward to every year at Cotton Bowl Stadium. When we got the news that the season was canceled, we had already had plans for the semester. Those plans, like many things during the pandemic, on hold after the State Fair Classic football game was postponed. But Dr. Timmy Zachary, director of bands at Prairie View a and says preparations for next year, well, they haven't stopped. Uh, we're rehearsing in the COVID manner. We're rehearsing with a quarter of the band once a week. The same is true for Dr. Nicole Roebuck, director of bands at Grambling State University. We had our first virtual band camp, so we've broken the band down into smaller sections, and we've been meeting with them uh, via Microsoft Teams, uh, as well as small groups on the outside. Although there's no trophy involved for who puts on the best halftime show, the friendly competition between the two universities has both band directors looking forward to what's next. We're supposed to come in there and be as ruckus and as hype about our team and winning as we can possibly be and supportive at the same time trying to get that shine over the other band to make sure that when you leave you know who the best band in the land that day was the baddest band in the land is the world fame grandma state university tiger marching band it's a battle for bragging rights that won't see a winner until february of next year the expectations are high <laughs> Well, we shall see. Look, I'm going to be in the building. So look, if if somebody want to get me on the sideline, just just let me know. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. All right. Tickets. for OK, I'm not. <laughs> Tickets for next year's State Fair Classic are already on sale on Ticketmaster. That game and the Battle of the Band scheduled to take place February 27, 2021. Mark your calendars. It's at the Cotton Bowl Stadium. So sorry, you, you remember this. You were not intended for the sidelines. You were meant for the spotlight. Come on, sis. <laughs> There she is, there she is.